Hey guys, welcome back to Gamer Bargain. My name is Jarrett, welcome to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install Hive OS on a mini SATA or an M.2. And so um, I'm going to use this M SATA or a mini SATA. Um, you see, it's very short and chunky. This is going to be used for the RevTech, you know, um, mining motherboard video I'm going to do um, because the server power supply is going to be here today, and I was waiting for for that to do that video so we got the we got the um you know m sata ssd as well as we got this m sata sse adapter so i will take it out and show you kind of what it is so you know what i'm talking about and i will leave a link in the description below for both of these if you do get a RevTech mining motherboard um because you um i would suggest you use this instead of a usb i have one rig on a usb and I, I dislike it a little bit. It's a little on the slow side, even if you have USB 3.0. Um, so it comes with the, you know, a little screwdriver. And then you get your, your actual adapter here. So this, you know, just plugs into your USB, it's USB 3.0. And you got your retaining screws right here. So I'm going to take out these screws, which I never like doing this anyways. Uh, is always, always very nerve wracking when you're undoing these tiny, tiny little screws here. Which these screws are on very tight. It seems very weird why they put these on so tight. Maybe they don't want them to get lost in shipping, but I mean, <laughs> that little screwdriver they provide could barely get it undone without stripping it. So. The next thing that we need is going to be our hard drive here. So let's get this unpackaged. Oh, it's all taped up. We'll use our little screwdriver here. There we go. Take off that seal. So this particular uh, M SATA is a 32 gig one. I think they go as low as 16. But the price difference was like $2, so I just got the 32 um, And I'll leave a link in the description, like I said, for all this stuff. So this is, um, I think this is, what, a, a kingpin? <laughs> Dogfish technology. Uh, oh, it's made by Dogfish. So that is a manufacturer for this. It was on Amazon. It was cheap. Um, it should do the trick. So you have your adapter here and you're just going to seat it. Oh, it actually goes on the other way. <laughs> Weird, usually it faces the other way. So then it's gonna sit like this at an angle here and make sure it actually seats, you know, inside of here. And then you're just gonna gently hold it down. And I mean, we could put both screws in, but I mean, realistically you shouldn't need both screws. One screw should be, you know, see, you don't even have to use both screws. You can just use one. It's just meant to just hold it down and secure the connection. Um, okay, so now we're going to plug this into the power here. And you can see the light came on and it's, it's now plugged in. Um, so you're going to need two things, and the first one, um, which I've already downloaded, is going to be a uh, a zip file with HiveOS right here, uh, right here on the GPU. You've got A6 GPU, beta image, flash. I haven't used their flash utility. Maybe maybe I'll do a review on that in the future. I use a different one. So I'm going to download right here on this GPU. Um, you know, either the torrent. Uh, get the zip file. So you click download. I already have it, but um, the next thing you're going to want to do, which I already have too, is the, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Belena or Belena or I just call it Etcher. So this is going to flash the image onto the drive that we want. So you would just click download and then download it and then you would install it like just like a typical program. So. Now that we have both of those, 
Okay. Wanna first we need to go to downloads. Okay, guys, I just tried to uh <laughs> I realized that this is why you need set. You also need one more program. You'll need 7-Zip. So, um, or maybe WinRAR. Um, I use 7-Zip, so I'll leave this. So all the, the Etcher, the Hive OS, and the 7-Zip, I will leave all in the description down below for you guys to download, as well as links for the MSATA and the MSATA adapter I'm using. Um, I tried to <laughs> I tried to extract the files with the Windows Zip, but it, it doesn't work. So um, you need to get another zip um, program. So I recommend 7-Zip, you know. Um, so um, we're going to go back to our desktop where I have all my tools on. So you will come over here to this is the zip file. You will right click and go to extract. I'll just extract it here. And then you will get this image here, which is the un you know uncompressed version. So now that we have that, okay, we need to, um, you will run uh, the Belena, right? So, uh, which I already, this is the installer. I already have it um, downloaded. So you're going to double click on the Belena etcher. So now you're going to click flash from file. You could do, uh, or clone a drive. They have other options here. So we're going to go to our, uh, let's see, where were we? We are desktop tools, and then we're gonna. Now you don't want to choose this one. You want to choose the one that we unzip. We we'll click open, and now it's going to ask us to select a target. And as you can see, this US it's a USB device technically because it's a USB adapter, which has our M SATA drive on it. So now we're going to click select. So. Then you'll just click flash. And then it'll come up with this command and you will say yes. And now it, it will vary from if you're doing it on a USB, you know, like a, like a USB flash drive or SSD and all. It'll depend on how you have everything hooked up. It'll depend on all the read and write speeds and how long it's taken. This one's doing pretty good. It's doing about 60 to 80 you know megabytes a second so um it says it's only going to take a minute so we'll just hang out for this time you know i will we'll just hang out and wait for it to get done all right guys it is done we have finished um doing um uh, our flash it says it's complete now um i will give a little bit of a setup tutorial here on how to actually get this working in hive um I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to boot it up yet because I'm waiting on that power supply, but I'll just show you what you'll need to do. So, so what you do is, is you'll unplug the USB, and then we'll plug it back in. Now it will come up with the uh, F drive and say Hive. It may even ask you if you want to format this drive. Do not format it. It will, you'll erase everything and have to do it all over again. So do not format it. Um, uh, so, um, once, so once again, um, you're going to want to just like how I showed you in the other video on how to mine on your, uh, gaming PC, which will be right up here. Um, in that video, I show you to how to, um, show hidden files in the extension too. So you want to click on file explorer. And you can just type file like I did, and it'll come up with a explorers option. So you're going to want to go to click view and then come over here to hidden files and folders and click down on show hidden files, folders and drives and click apply and hit OK. OK, now you will you'll be able to see this now. So now we're going to right click this and this edit. Now, this is just a. Um, this is like an example here, so this is. They're showing you kind of how to do it. So, but you, you use this and you have to save it a special way. So the first thing that you you would have to do is, and I can't show you this because if I do, you'll have access to my farm, is you come over here to settings and in there will be your farm hash. It will have a little, you know, little sub menu and it'll say farm hash. And um, so then you will copy 
and paste your farm hash right here, right? Um, okay. And then um, you could set a rig uh, a rig password for it if you want. Um, you don't you don't need to do that now. Then let's say you want to name it something. You could just type you know let's say you know we'll make this the RTX you know thirty series you know rig or you can name it whatever you want you know. Um, so then. Um, so if you're a first timer, I don't recommend doing this way because it can get a little confusing and it can have a few hiccups. You can create your rig ahead of time and make a rig without actually having this already. And then it will once again in your settings by your, you know, on the rig itself will have a rig ID. And then you could copy and paste that rig ID right here. But I would suggest not doing that and just doing it this way because um, it will auto generate the rig ID. So. uh so then you'll come down here to set rig pass. I just leave it like that. Um, if you're gonna, you know, run um, run shell, um, this is how this is the password you'd have to enter or something. So I don't I don't ever mess with that. So all you're really gonna need is your farm hash, and then you can set the worker name. That's all you need to do. Other than that, just leave everything else blank. Because I don't suggest making the rig ID ahead of time because. I, I had a few hiccups when I first did that. So this is the easiest way to set up your GPU mining rig. So once you have your farm hash and your worker name, you will click save as, okay? And then you see how it has the .txt? So it's gonna save it as a text file, which if you read this right, I will close this real quick. If you read this right here, it says up here, this is a starting example. The real config is in rig.conf C, you know, C-O-N-F. So you need to save it as rig.conf. Now, if you save it as a text file, because I did have this problem where Windows kept correcting it for me and it was irritating me. Even in, when you choose all files, I was having issues. So you, you will do all files and then you will type rig.conf. See, so that way it's just like what we had right here so you guys can see it rig.config so you'll click save okay and we're going to close this now we'll come back here and now you can see that in our hive usb or our you know mini sata it will have this other so you have the example still but then you have the actual config file here so that way it will actually boot you know, into Hive. If you don't do this right and you keep saving it as a text file, it will not boot. So um, just make sure it comes up as a dot config file. So that's today's video. That's just, you know, how to get your GPU mining rig, um, you know, get the OS, you know, flash and installed. Um, so just remember, you'll need the Belena Etcher 7-zip and the Hive OS um, image from Hive. Um, I will leave all links in the description down below um, for all the, you know, programs I use as well as the mini SATA and mini SATA adapter um, in case you are trying to use one of these new uh, RevTech mining motherboards I just found. Um, so if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that uh, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.